Hello and welcome. We're going to have this conversation because the more we talk about these things, the more we solve the problems of confidence that they raise. Hair issues. Look at me. Why I wear my hair the way I do. A lot of persons have asked me the question whether this is my hair or not. I have daughters that I am also dealing with because they come up and they say, mommy, I don't like my hair the way it is, the Afro, the African rough hair. People call it rough, but I feel that is the way God made us. And God has reasons to put everybody where they find themselves. Having dealt with so many of these issues, I felt that on my own, I have to be myself. So I decided to go on my natural hair and to be able to carry it, manage it and do all sorts. I decided to lock it. Yeah, this is my natural hair. So why this conversation is really important is because of the confidence issues they raise. If you wear your hair the way you are supposed to, I guess it has a way of impacting on your confidence levels, which in turn affects your productivity and the way you see yourself daily. We live in an era where people are struggling with acceptance as being accepted and social media is not helping issues where everybody wants to appear nice good and um, you know okay and most of the times we package and package and package but it will always be good to be your natural self to be you and who god has made you to be carrying my head this way helps me achieve a lot it's not a guy or um, <laughs> some people call it rasta regalicious whatever dread or whatever but i have discovered that whether you tie your hair whether you pack your hair whether you turn it into something else the important thing is that there is something growing on your hair and you are finding a way to manage it. Some people will tell you it doesn't look um, decent for a lady to be on dreads. It doesn't look decent for someone. Well, I don't know who defines decency because for me, decency is about moderation in everything you do. And decency is about um, not provoking a lot of uh, sentiments or just moderation and accepting what God has made you to be. And then, you know, if you reject yourself the way you are and you accept others and then um, you make it good. So the question is who defines what is good? Who, who says what is good? For me, as a spiritual person or somebody who is of the Christian orientation, the Bible defines my standards and talked about moderation and giving God glory in everything we do. So I carry my hair this way because it helps me solve a lot of problems. The issues of doubt, of attaching things to your hair or a lot. Though often Sometimes I go ahead and change some few things about myself and my hair. But I still know my boundaries. I still come back to my real self. I still come back to this hair. What this hair has helped me do is that I can stay for months without bothering about going to the salon, making hair, buying any hair stuff. I just bait into this hair wash it as much as I can with any washing solution, 
and then put enough creams. Brush the hair. Where's my brush? Get the hair brushed and I move on. It's just like carrying your normal hair backwards. But you've been able to put it in a way that you won't have to bother whether it's in order or not. I can literally use my hands to knitting them up. I can use my brush. I can use water. I can just wet it a bit. I can use any cream. And off I go. So it saves me money. It saves me the issues of, um, <laughs> you know, women issues, acceptance and what have you. Can we continue this conversation if you want us to? I would like to propose a live video from different people where we can talk about the issues of hair because I'm beginning to see that it is a kind of problem in the society.